All right, guys. So today's video, I'll be showing you how you can connect your Orion Watch AR to your smartphone. Without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. So the first thing to do here is to switch on your Orion Watch AR. You are going to press this button up here and press hold it for a few seconds and it's going to switch on your smartwatch. Now you can see, hello, nice to meet you. Swipe right and select your preferred language. Here, I'm going to pick English. And you're going to see this QR code to scan. Now, the next thing is to now go to your smartphone and switch on your Bluetooth data and location. So I'm going to come to my quick menu here, select my Bluetooth to be turned on, my data or Wi-Fi to be turned on, and my location to be turned on. So once these three are switched on, you are good to go. Now you can now scan the QR code on the face of this smartwatch. Now, let's use my QR code scanner and scan it. As you can see, a URL has just popped up. I'm going to select the URL and it's going to show me a quick link to Google Play Store and I'm going to download Orimo Health app. So I'm going to tap on Google Play Store here and as you can see, this is the Orimo Health app that will work for this Orimo Watch ER. So select install and install it on your smartphone. Once you have successfully installed your RAM Health app, select open and it's going to open it up for you. As you can see, it says allow RAM Health to access photo and media on your device. Select allow. And this is going to grant permission for RAM Health app. The next page is going to show you terms of use and privacy policy. Select agree option. And now you are going to see the RAM Health app. The next thing to do here is to now log in with your account details. If you don't have any account details, you can use the start now to register or when you select start now, it's going to ask you to register, follow the information and you are good to go. But if you don't want to log in, you just want to use it anyways, you can go to this visitors mode, which I'm going to use right now so that it will be faster. Now I'm going to select visitors mode and you can see the tourist mode risk warning. So I'm going to select confirm. Uh, the app will ask me a few questions and I can fill that in and we are good to go. So I'm going to quickly fill this in just for feeling sake. Here at the device page, you'll be asked to bind with either QR code or bind with Bluetooth. I'm going to be using Bluetooth this time around. So I'm going to select Bluetooth and it's going to show all the devices of Oramo that is compatible with this Oramo LTAP. So I'm going to scroll down to Oramo Watch ER here. So let's pick Oramo Watch ER, which is at the bottom of the list. Select that and grant Oramo permission to find, connect, and determine the relative position of nearby devices. Select Allow. And tap on it once again. And you are going to see Allow Oramo to access the device location. Select while using the app. Now tap for the third time. And it's going to search for your smartwatch. As you can see, the smartwatch is around, so I'm going to select Oramo Watch AR on the list. And that should sync up with my Oramo smartwatch AR here. As you can see, it says confirm to pair. So I'm going to select confirm to pair here. And it shows binding. Now bind successfully done. And on the smartphone, binding successfully. Now you can get notification permission for Rymo so that you can get notification from your smartphone to your smartwatch. Here we have Bluetooth pairing request. Select peer and grant Rymo access to contact also. Select allow and go to the setup and do this notification permission. Now search for Rymo health app, which is this on the list on your notification access page. Toggle it on and select allow for a remote health app. Once you have done that, you can select the back option, allow you to access your phone call logs, allow you to access your contact, allow, allow you to make and manage phone calls, allow, allow a remote health app to send and view SMS messages, allow, and that is it. You can now go to this second option here because this is the preview page, which is this first one here. The second one is for exercise page. You can do that if you want to. And the third one is for the smartwatch device page. Here you can see our Remo Watch ER has been successfully connected to our smartphone. Swipe down, you are going to see the icon on the smartwatch showing that it is truly connected to our smartphone. Now, select this green option here. 
and you are going to see the die center and the rest of the settings here you can see the die center in case you want to change it you can come here and change it to whatever die face that you want okay pick anyone which these are the default ones so if you want to change it to your own or you want to customize the watch face you can come here to the die settings and select it now you see the die market there are a lot of dies that you can pick from so let's just scroll a bit and see one for ourselves so i'm going to pick one from this personality page and i'm going to select one i think this looks cool and set as main dial as you can see it is transmitting it already and on the smartwatch it shows synchronizing so let's just wait for it now our new watch face is showing right on our smartwatch which you can see here and it looks beautiful i want to set the smartwatch from going off quickly you can go to the setting just as what you are experiencing now go to the settings scroll all the way down to the settings select the option and select display and brightness option now you are going to see auto screen shut down select that option and increase it to the maximum which is 20 all right tick on it and that should save the time that this guy will be going off every now and then so as you can see it is not going off quickly anymore now, the next one i'm going to share with you is how to set up the core function of your rimo watch to do that go back to the app and select bluetooth core okay select this bluetooth call option you are going to see enable bluetooth call select set up and make sure you have your ramo watch er connected to your bluetooth of your smartphone just as you can see here come to this gear icon by the side tap on it and make sure this call option is toggle on if not you won't be able to use your smartwatch to connect to your phone and use it to make bluetooth call now the next thing to do is now go to the watch swipe down and make sure this icon is also turned on if this icon is turned off like this you won't be able to use it to make call so make sure it is turned on and you can see it it is turned on on the smart phone so if i turn it off you can see it is off here if i turn it on it will be turned on it's as easy as that so that is how to use your remote watch it out to make bluetooth call now, the next thing I'm going to share with you here is how to get WhatsApp notification on your Orimo Watch ER. If you want to get WhatsApp notification, come to this setting here that shows sync with phone notification. Select that and make sure your options here are all turned on. As you can see here, I have one for sync with phone messaging. That means I will get SMS notification on the Orimo Watch ER. Here you can see SMS, Facebook, Gmail, Instagram and the rest select it and you get notification for whatsapp too and if you notice that you can't find your app on this list like youtube you can go to this option orders tap on it and it's going to show you more application notification now search for that app that you have on your smartphone that you want to receive notification from for example in my case i want to receive notification from youtube so i'm going to swipe all the way down to y and select youtube so and this is youtube here and i'm going to toggle on the option for youtube so anytime i have notification from youtube on this smartphone it's going to show on this smart watch okay you can also do that to other apps that you want to receive notification from as you can see there are a lot of apps here if you want to receive some from tiktok and trend i can turn this on and turn it on this way and i'll receive notification from this apps also it's as easy as that so select back option and you are good to go there are also other settings here if you want to check out one for alarm you can come here and add your alarm to it and once you are done select save you can also use the option you can also use the option for weather settings come here and do your weather settings sync if you want to do that can come here and do that so it's going to show on your smartwatch you can also use music control if you want your smartwatch to control your music turn it on here and you'll be able to control your music volume pause play and do the rest also if you also want to use the remote camera you can come here and use the remote camera and this guy is going to take pictures once you tap on the remote button on the watch for example if i select using app it shows 
check and take a picture. So when I tap this like this, it's going to take the pictures. As you can see it, it is already in my gallery. So that is how the remote camera works. So that is that. Now, the other settings here are for the importing music, how to import music from your laptop to your Ramo Watch it out. I've done one for the Oramo Watch 3 Plus in case you want to watch that. It's going to work for this Oramo Watch Air Out 2. Or you can watch the new video that I'm going to make for this how to import music from your laptop to your Oramo Watch Air Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Please stay safe. Bye for now. Peace.